reviewed several different um, trainings online. Um, some of the trainings that we have available to us. Um, is, isn't Karina on the calendar invite? Is it Tanya? She should be here. It's Tanya. Yeah. I don't mind. It's at 9.30 because I asked um, Kayla. So yeah. I'm not supposed she's to be training. Like, oh, yeah. No. I didn't know about it. <laughs> she's going to be late. Um, anyway. I think that this can really help us, but we have to actually implement this in our day-to-day -day business, right? So let's talk about leading by example. Yeah, you can read. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and this is interactive, so I want, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. Um, you know, be open. I need some honest feedback. Um, so that way we can kind of make some changes. So leading by example. Um, some of the things that I am going to put into place is your daily routines. And I think this is really going to help you guys. Um, I never was very, like, I haven't been structured with you guys. I kind of let you go and um, do your own thing how you would have as a rep um, and, and implement some other things that you learned from me down the road. Um, kind of excluding you, Melinda, because you weren't here when I was a team lead. But I think it's important that for the next maybe 30 days that we really try to go on a structured routine like by the minute and myself included. So going first, to me, that means that we hit the floor and we do all of those things that we want our reps to do. And we do it first. We log into our Broadworks. We pull up our emails. We don't right away put our stuff down and go grab a cup of coffee because we're telling them not to do that, right? So, you know, we're, we're ready to go when we get here or we get here early and we do all those things. It's kind of leading by example. Mm -hmm. You know, if they don't see a headset on you and you're sitting at your desk, you should be working, you know. Um, if you're walking around and socializing and having, of having a great old time, that's what they see from you, mm -hmm. you know. So if you're, if you're making that lead and you're putting your... Your, your foot forward and you're telling your team it's okay to not work and to play you know you're not going to get a productive team you're we're going to see a lot of errors like we're seeing right now modeling the behaviors they want to see in others um and that's the same thing you know if you're gossiping with reps um if you're you know hitting it up with them after work um if you're not modeling that behavior for yourself as a leader in the company, those are the types of things that are gonna happen. You're gonna have reps who are not gonna respect you as a leader. They're gonna see you as their peer and they're going to maybe not come to you with important information. You know, what if something's happening in their life but they're like, well, I don't want her to judge me. I'm not gonna tell her, you know. She might go and tell another rep. You don't wanna create that type of environment. You want them to know that you're their word is confident, and the only person that you will have to tell is me. Not, not Karina, not Melinda, not Kate, you know what I'm saying? Their word is sacred with you, but they also need to know that when you tell me something, I may have to go to my leadership. You know, so if you don't want that to keep going up the chain, you know, that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, or... I'm going to keep that to myself because there's no reason why Dana needs to know that. You know, I'm going to take care of it. Clarifying their personal values and acting accordingly. Um, we have to show respect and self-respect so that way our reps are doing the same. Um, you know, I'd say right now we're a little bit, um, I think it's like the calm before the storm kind of thing. You know, so what happens is when you are not displaying those type of leadership values, your team sees it. So what are some of the ways that you guys think are some, you know, values that you may have or your peer may have or I may have 
that works best on our floor. Respecting everyone um, the same, treating them the same. Treating them the same, yes. I feel like being more present is a huge thing because I notice my, I think it's really with everybody. Like if they don't see you around, they're going to slack. So being, availability. Yeah. yeah. Being available. Available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting here on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not being late. Oh, yeah. I will say my team does good on telling them themselves. Even, even <laughs> your break. They do. It's our so behavior funny. in the break room, even they notice that. Are you the one that's actually cleaning your own mess? I mean, mm -hmm. what are you doing in there? Mess, yeah. they, they, they see you in there. And if you tell them, hey, you know, you need to clean it after you, will be like, well, you don't do it. Mm -hmm. Why should I? I would even say the music you guys choose when Juliana's not here is a direct representation of how, you know, we are, like, if you go out there and you play rap, like the other night, I left the building, I came back, Somebody changed the music and it was rap and I'm not kidding you. It was A and T like A S S T I T T Y Whoa. over and over and over. Imagine if that was Dr. Patel walking into this building and he's hearing A T A T over and over and over again. Like if you are accepting that type of music, you're creating an environment of it doesn't matter. There's no rules. You know, or there's no rules when the big bosses are gone. Can't do that. Yeah. We cannot have music like that. Nobody um, likes my music. So. And that's okay as long as it's clean. I don't care I what like it country. is. Country, they all complain. Mm -hmm. So I just. You know what? We've got to play music for everybody, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, and that's kind of like um, we gotta. We have to run competitions for every team. We have. We have to have a winner for every team. We have to have a rep of the week. You know, we we have to do all of these things equally. Everybody has got to have an equal playing field here. Um, seeking self-improvement. What are the ways that you guys seek self-improvement? Educating ourselves on uh, upcoming things that are going on within the company. Mm -hmm. um, How do you do that? Um, by studying, finding mm -hmm. out, are we getting new doc, you know, doctors? Who are those doctors? What are we, you know? Yep. Um, the website. Locations, websites. Yep. Emails. Uh, emails. Emails. The town hall meetings. Mm -hmm. Yep. Finding out key people that, you know, you, you can speak to in each office. Resources. Yes. Asking you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I also believe, it might sound funny, but, you know, bathrooms. Kenneth has seen me a lot of times cleaning the bathroom. And I always tell him, dude, I just got done. You're coming in here, leave it spotless. Mm -hmm. So he knows that I care about the bathroom. Yeah. So whenever we, well, you guys, mm -hmm. go in there and they see you not caring, just throwing toilet paper mm -hmm. around, they'll be like, yeah. I'm just saying. I feel like it's in a, in a guy to be like, man, they don't care about the cleanliness. I I'm constantly it's... cleaning. And that girl's bathroom is disgusting. Yeah. Yes, I know. I clean off the All the time. I go once a day, mm -hmm. and I try to not even go, because I can't even see it. <laughs> I have a really there. hard time with the toilet paper rolls. Me I, too. I've been the there for like 15 minutes trying, trying to get it. So <laughs> bottom one, oh, that always breaks off, so I always It's because it. we're not putting the roll in correctly, so the, the thing will not go this way. Mm -hmm. It'll only go that way. Yeah, because way. you're supposed to put up. Up. Uh, yeah, not, yeah. Not down. Over, yeah. not under. Mm -hmm. Whoever yeah. does under, you're wrong, and you need to evaluate your life. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. <laughs> my mom, does, my mom will just slap it on, and she doesn't care. I'm like, it goes over, not under. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like that about toothpaste. That's the only thing. That I, I just want to be very clear that leading by example is the number one way to get your teams productive. Mm -hmm. It's number one. If if you came into my office and all we talked about was my kids, my weekend, you know, activities, I ne and I never spoke about work, you guys would know what? Nothing. You just right. don't care. And I don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I rarely talk to you guys about my personal life mm -hmm. because when I'm here, I'm focused on here. You know, and nobody really wants to hear about my kids. Nobody wants to hear about my weekend. You know, I want to hear about yours, but you guys don't need to know that about me. You need to get all of the information that I've had over the years 
and, and extract that, you know. Um, and that's how you should be with your teams. You know, we shouldn't be sitting on the floor talking to them about constantly. I mean, you want to open up to them and stuff and create that bond, but we shouldn't be talking to them constantly about what we're doing on the weekend, how much money I spent, you know. Um, come on. Shows like they had an appointment on 529, and I'm rescheduling the appointment. Do I choose the old appointment to reschedule or keep it as no show? Oh, no, keep it as no show. It needs to be noted in the account that they know show because we keep track of that. Okay, and just put in, you guys, I'll be ready to schedule the appointment. If my phone rings, will you answer it? Yeah. 